guys! Good day! It's me, Teacher MJ. Our topic for today class, it's all about the parabola. Transforming general form to standard form. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So this is already part 3 of our video class. The part 1 of our video is we are solving basic examples of parabola. So we transform this general form into the standard form. I will just put the link class in the description down below with regards to the part 1 of our video. Now the part 2 of our video class, we answered number 1. So we already have a video for this one. So I will just put the link class in the description down below on how to answer number 1. Now this time, the part 3 of our video, we will be answering number 2. If we have enough time, we will be answering also number 3. Alright, so let's start. Number 2. So let me copy the equation. 3x squared minus 12x minus 8y plus 124 equals 0. So let me just erase number 2. Once again, this is number 2. So once again, if you have x squared, so therefore, this will be our equation. This is the standard form plus. Our answer will look like this. Alright, so first thing to do is we need to separate the x variables and the y variables. So copy 3x squared. Copy negative 12x. You put a space class because we need to do the completing the square. And then you put equal sign. You transpose negative 8y from left to right. Same with 124. So this is negative 8y. It will be positive 8y. Do not forget class, once you transfer an equation from this equal sign, you always change the sign. So 8y is on the left of this equal sign. We transpose this one. This is negative. It becomes positive. This is positive 1, 2, 4. It will be negative 124. Alright. So once again, class, before doing the completing the square, you check first the numbers for the x variables. Can we factor 3 and negative 12? Yep, we can factor this out by 3, right? Because we can divide 3 and by 3, and we can also divide negative 12 by 3. Alright, so we can factor this out by 3. Then you put parentheses, then you divide plus 3x squared divided by 3. So 3x squared divided by 3, 3 divided by 3 is 1. x squared divided by none, simply copy x squared. Or you can write it x squared plus. That's, this is actually the same class. Always remember that there's 1 here on this, in, on this variable class. Always remember that one. If you didn't see any number, understood to be 1. So we can write this x squared. Alright, and then you divide this one, negative 12x divided by 3. So negative 12 divided by 3 or negative divided by positive is negative. 12 divided by 3 is 4x divided by none, copy, negative 4x. Alright, and then you copy this one, you close, close parenthesis, then equals 8y minus 124. Alright, so you can do the derivative property class to check if this is really the correct factor of this one. So 3 times x squared, that's 3x squared. 3 times negative 4x, that's negative 12x. So therefore, this is the correct factor of this one. Next is we do the completing the square. So we will need to add a new constant here in the parenthesis. And what will be that number, sir? Of course, we do have the formula class. B divided by 2, quantity squared. Our B class is beside X, beside this linear term. So B is negative 4 divided by 2, quantity squared. So negative 4 divided by 2, that's negative 2, quantity squared. Once again, class, this is the formula in completing the square to add a new constant here. So B is negative 4 beside X divided by 2. So negative 4 divided by 2, that's negative 2. And we still have squared, so negative 2 squared. It means negative 2 times negative 2. And negative 2 times negative 2, that's positive 4. So therefore, you will add 4 on this side. Alright, so you will add 4 on the side of this side of the equation. Now, check this one class. If you add 4 on this side of this equation, now you will need to add... Okay, okay let me just erase this one class. Be careful with this one class. In the first video class, if this is just your equation, once you get the number, you just simply add 4 on the left side. You also add 4 on the right side. Now, since this is not our equation, we factor this out by 3. Therefore, the thing that you will be adding is you need to multiply 3 and 4, and that will be the number that you will be adding, class. Okay? Always remember this one. So, you will not add 4 directly. It will be 
plus 3 times 4. The product of 3 and 4. Once again, you will not add 4 directly. It should be the product of 3 and 4. Since we factored this out a while ago. Alright, so this will be copy 3, then close parenthesis. And then, this perfect square trinomial, we make it into square of binomial. Alright, how to do that one, sir? Simple class. Just get the square root of the first term, square root of x squared, that is x. And then, the square root of the last term is square root of 4, that is 2. And then, you copy the sign of the middle term, this is negative. Copy negative sign. You put close parenthesis and then square. That's it. Easy, right? So, once again, you get the square root of the first term, that is x. The square root of the last term, square root of 4, that is 2. Copy the sign of the middle term. You put quantity, then squared. That's it. A per perfect square trinomial, we make it into square of binomial. Then equals, so this is 8y minus 1, 2, 4. Then you multiply 3, 3 times 4, that would be positive 12. Alright, so copy 3 quantity x minus 2 squared equals 8y. Then you subtract plus. If the signs are not the same, subtract, then copy the sign of the larger number. Alright, so this will be 124 minus 12. Alright, so this will be 1. 4 minus 2 is 2. 2 minus 1 is 1. 112 plus. So since 124 is greater than 12, so our answer is negative 112. I hope you know, class, in adding integers and like signs, if the signs are not the same, subtract and copy the sign of the larger number. Alright, so this that's why we have negative 112. Alright, so almost done plus, almost done. Let me raise this one. Now check class, can we factor 8 and one negative 112? Yep, we can factor this out by 8. So once again, mostly you just simply copy the number beside y. Okay, so this will be 3 quantity x minus 2 squared equals so you can factor this out by 8 so 8 quantity so 8y divided by 8 8y divided by 8 so this will be 8 divided by 8 is 1 y divided by none is simply copy y so y 1y or y and then you divide negative 112 divided by 8 negative 112 divided by 8 so let me divide this one plus 112 divided by 8 so 1 11 divided by 8 is 1 1 times 8 is 8 subtract 11 minus 8 is 3 bring down 2 32 divided by 8 is 4 4 times 8 is 32 32 minus 32 is 0 14 so negative 112 divided by 8 that's negative 14 of course negative divided by positive is negative then 112 divided by 8 is 14 Alright, so this will be our equation class. Now check check this one class. This is not yet the final equation. So check class. Okay, let me just copy it here. So this will be... Okay. We don't have enough space class. So let me just copy it here. 3, okay, 3 quantity x minus 2 squared equals 8 quantity y minus 14. Now check class, the equation class. It says that x minus h squared equals 4p quantity y minus k. The number before x minus h should be 1. Okay, understood that there's 1 here, class. Now, this is 3. Now, since this is 3, the thing that we will do is we need to divide this 1 by 3. Okay, divide this 1 by 3 so that we can cancel this out and 3 divided by 3 is 1. Alright, so divide it by 3. Also on the right side of the equation. So, 3 divided by 3 is 1. Now, you will be asking, Sir, why do we need to divide it by 3? Because the equation class in our standard form, the number before this quantity understood to be 1. Now, since this is 3, the thing that we will do is we need to divide it by 3. Because 3 divided by 3, this is 1. Okay, 3 divided by 3 is 1. Alright, so divide it by 3. So, our final equation will be quantity x minus 2 squared equals so 8 divided by 3 copy class check class if we can reduce the fraction can we reduce 8 and 3 nope we can re we cannot reduce 8 and 3 class we cannot divide 8 by 3 also because our answer is this this decimal therefore just simply copy 8 over 3 then quantity y minus 14 that's it plus this will be our 
final answer. Alright, that's it. So to get the vertex, vertex will be H and K. So I'm going to just put it here, vertex H and K. So our H is beside X. So this will be our equation. H is beside X. So our H is, this is negative 2. Get the additive inverse. H is positive 2. This is negative 14 for K because K is beside Y. This is negative 14. Get the additive inverse. This will be positive 14. That's it. That's the vertex. All set for number 2. So this is just part 3 of our video class. Part 3 of our video. Now for number 3 class, it will be part 4 of our video. And it will be quite more complicated. But do not be worried. We will be answering number 3. That will be part 4 of our video class. Alright, so I hope you learned something new today. If you learned something new today, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. You share it to your friends' class and to your classmates so that we can help more students. Once again, this is Teacher MJ. You have a great day. Do not forget the part 4 of our video. I will be sending the link or I will just put the link in the description down below for the part 4 of our video. Once again, this is Teacher MJ. Bye-bye!